Well, from football to wrestling movies, fans have smelled what The Rock is cooking for years. And now Dwayne Johnson is tackling TV with a new series about his life called Young Rock. Take a look. I was born into a wrestling family. Of course, your dad was wrestling superstar. The soul man, Rocky Johnson. To me, he was a superhero. Okay, we've got gladiators in the ring. You know, when you grow up around wrestlers, sometimes you learn lessons in very interesting ways. It's all fake anyways. What happened? God, you're not raising that. Special boy. So Matthew joins me now. Matthew, how are you? I'm doing great today. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Let's talk about this show. You play Andre the Giant, and people, myself included, might be surprised to learn that he had a part in Dwayne Johnson's life. Did you know that before taking part in this? I, I did not, and it's kind of the biggest surprise for me in doing research, you know, before the role um, about Andre and trying to find out as much as I could. There wasn't anything about that. So to kind of hear from Dwayne himself to the extent of, you know, he called him Uncle Andre. Uh, so he was literally part of his family growing up. So what was their relationship, you know, like? Take us behind the scenes of that from what you know, what you've learned and research. Right. Well, you know, he, uh, Dwayne's dad was a, a famous wrestler, Rocky Johnson. And uh, back in those days, um, wrestlers were always around, uh, especially in the Hawaii days when they were living out in Hawaii. And uh, for little Dewey, uh, as they called Dwayne back in the day, um, he was Uncle Andre. You know, he was someone that was always around, um, always uh, was to be treated with respect. But at the same time, Andre was very loving to kids. And so uh, Dwayne felt like uh, they had a special bond. And I think that, that we explore that in the show a little bit where, you know, Andre sort of gives uh, Dwayne advice as a, as a little kid. And in some ways it almost turns around and little Dewey gives some advice to Andre, you know, living as Andre the giant, seven foot tall, you know, almost 500 pounds living in a regular world. Uh, it was little Dewey that almost uh, gives him some advice on how to sort of live his life as well. So yeah. cool. It sounds like such a cool set to be a part of. It, Let's talk about was. the physical transformation because you're already tall. Okay. But I yeah. understand that you still had to wear shoe lifts. Um, to be even <laughs> taller, is that true? I did, I did, which which came to me as a surprise when they first told me, but I, I was, you know, it, it was an adjustment. They actually, when I first started, they probably had a good three inches inside of my uh, shoe. Now I have a feeling of how you women do it every single day. Thank you, thank you. And I, and I respect you even more than I did before. <laughs> the biggest thing for me, I think, was was realizing that I needed to gain some weight. I kind of walk around typically as someone who's a little more athletically built, and I gained about 35 pounds for this. That part was tough, and as as the shooting went on, you know, the, having carrying at 35 pounds was a little bit um, wearing on me. But again, it looked really good for the role, and it was perfect for what I wanted to accomplish, having to look like Andre. How did you do that? Like, how did and how much time <laughs> did you have to do it? What was the plan of attack for that? probably about a three month period, wow. three and a half month period. And, and that's not, that's not a long time to gain 35 pounds. So I just started eating and I would eat late at night and I would uh, not feel bad about having, you know, chips or a sandwich or peanut butter, you know, at midnight or whatever. And, and, uh, <laughs> I know it was, oh uh, it was, it was gluttonous. It really was. And, uh, and, but, but it worked, it worked. And, and again, uh, it, it, when you see me on screen, especially, like I said, later in the season when we were doing the wrestling and I had my shirt off, and you kind of, it really gives a sense of kind of having that Andre body. I have to ask you because you, you know, Dwayne Johnson also started out in football. You you started yeah, yeah. out in football and went to acting. You skipped the, the, the part where he became a wrestler, right? <laughs> but I wonder after playing this role, do you think you could ever, like, I, you may not want to, but do, do you think you could, like, be in that world? Having done just a little bit of the wrestling and, and worked that, uh, that stuff in the ring, I want no part of it. <laughs> it's, it is, I'm telling you, I have so much more respect for those guys. Yeah. You know, I knew the showmanship. I knew it was physical. I knew it was um, athletic. But uh, the degree to which these guys have to work, as well as be showmans and actors, 
It's yeah. amazing. I love that. I love this yeah. whole thing. And I, I'm so happy that you're a part of it. I want to let everybody know that you can catch Young Rock Tuesdays at 8 p.m. on NBC. Matthew, thank you and congrats again.